Hi, welcome to another episode of What's Happening Now. I'm your host, Jenny Liker, and this is the show that tells you about some cool things that are going on in our area and some great attractions and charities. And today we're going to learn about uh, an awesome uh, animal rescue charity, uh, a Celtic festival, and even a trip you can take to um, Oktoberfest. So we're going to start with uh, our guest, Brendan McCampbell. And Brendan is the director of Western Plains Animal Refuge that is based out of out of Hayes. Yes. Brendan, thank you so much for coming on. This is one of my personal charity passions, and I wanted to let people know a little bit more about it. So what can you tell us about Western Plains Animal Refuge? The Western Plains Animal Refuge is a nonprofit, no-kill animal shelter. We're run completely by volunteers, and we work with both domestic animals, and we also coordinate with wildlife rehabilitators in our area. Now, see, that was actually something that I didn't know. I knew it got started doing primarily wildlife, is that right? The or? organization was started in 2006 by veterinarian Jessica Braun, mm -hmm. and she ran the shelter out of her private clinic, the Animal Health Center. And when she closed in 2011, I was elected as the new executive director. And since then, we have been fundraising. We had a facility over in Ellis that we were using for about two years, and right now we are transitioning, renting an office in the Hadley Center, which will open in April. And then we will be opening a new facility, hopefully within the next few years, that we will be building ourselves. That, that's fantastic. And your mission, as you mentioned, what makes maybe Western Plains different from some other ones, it is it is a no-kill shelter. Yes. So how, when it comes to placing animals, um, kind of what, what do you do? What, how do you find homes for these animals that you take in? We advertise our animals a number of ways and we have a really stringent policy for adoptions. We make sure that the animal is definitely in a safe, happy home that is going to be able to take care of them. And we have a really good adoption policy. I think that it's very thorough and I really think that all of our animals go into great homes. And that's so important to get people matched up with the right pet and yes. verse, vice versa. But you have saved over a thousand, I believe you've placed over a thousand animals at this point, haven't you? Including what Jessica Braun did, yes. We have not been as large as she has in the past. We're kind of regrowing a little bit, feeling our way out and figuring things out. I became the director new in 2011 and since then we've just been trying to grow and gain sustainable growth. Mm -hmm. Uh, so some of your challenges, uh, I know that you you have been growing, but uh, finding a suitable facility that, that worked well for you was one of them. And you mentioned you're going to be fundraising for uh, to build a new one. Yes. Uh, don't you have some kind of an event coming up actually uh, in April? Yes, on April 18th, we're having an event called Barca Palooza, which will be down at the municipal park. And it'll be an opportunity for individuals to come down with their dog participate in a number of activities. We'll have booths from local vendors and businesses, and it'll just be a really great day for the whole family, including the dog. That sounds like a lot of fun to go to something called Barkapalooza. It will be for fun, sure. I think. And um, what are some ways that people can actually learn more? Do you have a Facebook page, website? We do have a website, westernplainsanimalrefuge.org. We also have our Facebook page if you just search Western Plains Animal Refuge. Both of those have information on how to adopt, how to volunteer, or even become a foster home or donate. Mm -hmm. And there's, um, as far as donations, it is all listed there, but there's a couple of things people can do that doesn't even really cost them anything. I know that you're an Amazon Smile partner, and yes. a lot of people don't know a whole lot about Amazon Smile, but uh, all you have to do is, when you go to Amazon and shop, well, you know this, so all you have to do when you go to Amazon and shop is uh, you just choose Amazon Smile instead, and then you could select your charity, and then you get a percentage of everything that they buy through that. So, you know, that's a great way that people can donate. Also through the Dillon store, there's um, you can sign up, and donations can go to Western Plains that way too. Yes, you can go to Community Rewards at the Dillon's website, and then search for us and add us to your Dillon's card. So it's all all very exciting, and there's um, lots of ways people can help. Uh, you probably also have homes that you need people to foster animals in now too, since you're you know kind of between facilities, I yes. would guess. And right now, since we have an office at the Hadley Center, what we're actually doing is keeping all of our animals in foster homes. That's actually something that we started back in December. And we are always looking for new good foster homes for dogs, cats, ranging of all ages and sizes. 
So even if people can't, you know, permanently take in another animal, there, there's just a ton of ways people can help. Yes. So tell us the, the website, the Facebook page one more time. WesternPlainsAnimalRefuge.org. And you can also just search for Western Plains Animal Refuge on Facebook. Great. Well, Brendan, thank you so much for telling us more about your charity. We wish you the best of luck in your fundraising and getting a new facility going. And when we get back, we're going to meet uh, with Randy Gibbs, and he's going to tell us about a really cool festival called The Gathering. For home-cooked, made-from-scratch meals, served with the heaping side of hospitality, stop in at Two Blondes Bakery and Deli in Waukini. They're open from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. for breakfast and lunch. Two Blondes Bakery and Deli has all your cooked-to-order breakfast specials, as well as daily hot lunch specials, all made from scratch. They also feature favorites like homemade pies, pastries, beer rocks, and more. Ask about their catering service for your next special event. Find them on Facebook and Barclay Avenue in Waukini. Stockton Dental Center is your complete family dentistry. Dr. Cynthia Petticolis at Stockton Dental Center offers a full range of dental health services to make sure every family member has a smile that lasts a lifetime. Stockton Dental Center offers a wide range of services, including bleaching, cosmetic dentistry, and nitrous oxide sedation for a comfortable and anxiety-free experience. Most major credit cards and insurance plans are accepted, including Delta Dental. Stockton Dental Center, your complete family dentistry. I'm Adam Stenzel, Production Supervisor with Arm Custom Metals in Hayes, Kansas. Arm Custom Metals' goal is to serve all your building components' needs. Arm Custom Metals fabricates panels and custom trim to your specifications and lengths in 48 hours or less. Arm Custom Metals also fabricates standing seam roof and wall panels on site for all your residential and commercial projects. Come see us today at Arm Custom Metals, RM Custom Metals, 2150 East 8th Street in Hayes, Kansas. For great food and good times, meet your friends at Fonzie Grill in Norton. Fonzie Grill features fantastic lunch specials weekdays from 11 till 2. Enjoy favorites like chicken fried steak, soul-warming comfort foods, and homemade pastries. Drop in for dinner Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights from 5 until 9 for a delicious steak or mouth-watering prime rib. Stay and unwind or watch the game in the pub open from 5 until closing. For great food and good times, it's Fonzie Grill, South Highway 283 in Norton. Say goodbye to being just a number and say hello to something different. With money-saving rate plans, nationwide coverage, unlimited talk, text, and data plans starting at just $60 a month, and personalized local customer care and amazing community support, Next Tech Wireless is the wireless company you've been looking for. Isn't it time you upgrade to a provider that vows to improve every aspect of your wireless experience? Next Tech Wireless, say hello to something different. And overnight, things have basically been dry. There may have been a few sprinkles here and there, but certainly nothing, nothing like what we saw yesterday afternoon and last evening. For those unexpected visitors, motels and hotels, you'll find those here. Next Tech Directory, in print, online, and now mobile. Find what you're looking for. As promised, I have Randy Gibbs here with me, and Randy is here to talk about this super cool festival called The Gathering, and uh, I'm not even going to tell you any more about it. Randy, this sounds so fun. What is The Gathering? What can you tell us about it? The Gathering is, uh, the best way to think of it is if you just go back to the days a long time ago where people spent most of their time just eking out a living, and then in the spring, it was time to kind of get things rolling again and get back to the pastures and get and and then it was also time for people to come together so um, there was a time set aside for the gathering of clans and the gathering is loosely based on that coming together of family friends uh, and it's a celebration of spring it's the gathering fire festival of Beltane Beltane is the uh, coming of spring. You know, the Celts did this, divided the year into two parts, the dark half and the light half, which uh, we're coming into the light half now. And so when you get to Beltane, which uh, is the first weekend in May, we're coming into the light half of the year. We're, we're going to 
uh, celebrate life and the coming back of life and we're going to thank God that we made it out of the dark half. So that's kind of the thing behind it. I know we're all thankful that we're done with the dark cold half of the year, that's for sure. Now where, uh, where's this going to happen at? This will be on the fairgrounds at Trigo County um, and it will be May 2nd um, and it starts oh nine ten 10 o'clock in the morning. We're not too punctual. <laughs> uh, what you'll find there is games. The games start pretty much first thing. So um, uh, Highland Games, uh, guys throwing the stone and uh, pitching the caber and doing all those kinds of fun things. And, and you can watch them compete. Um, there'll be some vendors there to sell things. Uh, we're not particular if it's Celtic stuff or not, but there'll be some Celtic stuff. Um, Celtic music, and uh, in the evening, a big feast. Um, and people can get tickets for that uh, on the website or there that day in the morning, so. Uh, what uh, so? What kind of things could people expect to eat at this big feast? Is it kind of, is it traditional foods there, or you know, what kind of things yeah. do people usually have for that? Well, at the feast, um, generally, we've had uh, pork, pulled pork, um, ribs, the the potato things all fried up. We used to serve them in a in a piece of bread, like a trencher. Mm -hmm. um, last year we, we ended up doing it on plates. but um, And then throughout the day uh, people might be selling all kinds of crazy stuff. You know we, we are Celts but we're located in German land so expect some beer ox I, I suppose to be Absolutely. And then is there uh, as far as like food vendors throughout the day if people want to eat before the feast at night there's probably going to be some food vendors there too, I would guess. We're hoping, yes. Uh, we, we had some every year. We usually have one or two. So Beverages there? Is there any kind of... There's a beer garden. I was I trying to not... get at that. I, uh, I didn't want to... <laughs> I knew you were going to go there, you know. That's the German influence, right? Well, uh, I, yeah, I live in Hayes. I... Yeah, so... <laughs> Gotta ask but there'll be a beer. There'll be a beer garden there, um, and, you know, the vendors will sell drinks, and so it'll be, you know... There'll be something to drink there. So it just sounds like it's just a, a fun activity for really the whole family. Uh, I, I read that there was going to be there are going to be carriage rides even. Yes. Um, Next Tech's going to have their train there, right. do the the train rides for the kiddos uh, ceremonies. So um, so I don't know. I think it's something everybody ought to come check out. So tell us again where and when and all that good stuff. It will be at the Trigo County Fairgrounds. It will be on Saturday, May 2nd, and we'll start somewhere around 9, 10 in the morning so people can come out and enjoy the day. It's a free festival. You don't have to pay to get in, uh, so bring the family. There's just wonderful stuff for kids. Uh, we'll, we'll pipe around the, the May tree uh, in the afternoon. We'll have some uh, tug-of-war stuff going on, the games, competition, um, and just enjoy the day. And, and, and it's just going to be a fun festival. It's one of my favorite festivals of all time. Uh, it, it just sounds fantastic. And you do have a website that you mentioned people can buy their feast tickets on or learn more about it. And what is, the, what is that website? Where is that located at? It's www thegathering.com there's no e between in the the so it's the gathering and no g on the end but thegathering.com and we are on facebook as well so Wonderful. you can follow us and see what's it's going up and it's all done by volunteers so anybody who sees this that wants to volunteer be great and and same thing for if they want to have teams. Are your teams still open? Or how yes, do people do that? Anybody can show up, and if you show up alone, we'll, we'll put you on with someone. But that's not yeah. a threat, right? I mean, only no, if you want to. There are women's teams, too. <laughs> I'm just saying. Very cool. Awesome. Well, make sure you go check out the website T H G A T H E R I N dot com. com or go to their Facebook page, and most of all, just show up on May 2nd and walk yes, in, right? Yes, just show up. 
All right. Well, thank you so much, Randy. Great. Thanks. We'll be right Thanks back. Thanks for having me. Well, it's our pleasure. We'll be right back, and we're going to have Tammy Welbrock from the Hayes Chamber, and we're going to learn about a really cool opportunity for you to go on a trip. Miltech Machine Corporation in Norton takes pride in delivering high-precision, close-tolerance machine parts. Since 1997, Miltech Machine Corporation has been a leading supplier for aerospace, agriculture, laboratory instrument, and medical equipment manufacturers throughout the country. They also offer prototyping and single or low production runs. All processes are closely controlled to provide the parts you need when you need them. Congratulating all the area athletes. Miltech Machine Corporation in Norton. Welcome to Mapes & Miller, one of the region's largest full-service accounting firms. We provide many services, including bookkeeping, auditing, payroll, and of course, tax returns. Our CPAs in Phillipsburg, Norton, Stockton, and Quinter have over 100 years of combined experience helping you with personalized service in individual and corporate accounting. At Mapes & Miller, it's not what you make, it's what you keep. Mapes & Miller, give us a call today. Leon's Welding and Fabrication in Hayes has been serving Western Kansas for over 25 years. With custom fabrication in the oil field as well as metal projects, including gates, handrails, metal art creations, sandblasting, and powder coating. New to Leon's Welding this year is dustless blasting. Now you can remove virtually any type of coating from any material and finish the job with a durable, long-lasting, baked-on powder coating. Leon's Welding and Fabrication, East Highway 40 in Hayes. Did you know that most people's internet connections are too slow? Wondering if yours is? Just answer these simple questions. Do you have more than three connected devices to the internet? Do you stream video over your internet connection? Do you occasionally notice lagging? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you need to come see Nextech about a speed upgrade so you can experience the full benefits that fiber technology has to offer. Nextech, our products and people are here for you. For home-cooked, made-from-scratch meals, served with the heaping side of hospitality, stop in at Two Blondes Bakery and Deli in Waukini. They're open from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. for breakfast and lunch. Two Blondes Bakery and Deli has all your cooked-to-order breakfast specials, as well as daily hot lunch specials, all made from scratch. They also feature favorites like homemade pies, pastries, beer rocks, and more. Ask about their catering service for your next special event. Find them on Facebook and Barclay Avenue in Waukini. Stockton Dental Center is your complete family dentistry. Dr. Cynthia Petticolis at Stockton Dental Center offers a full range of dental health services to make sure every family member has a smile that lasts a lifetime. Stockton Dental Center offers a wide range of services, including bleaching, cosmetic dentistry, and nitrous oxide sedation for a comfortable and anxiety-free experience. Most major credit cards and insurance plans are accepted, including Delta Dental. Stockton Dental Center, your complete family dentistry. All right, we're back and we're going to finally tell you about that trip that you can go on. And I have Tammy Welbrock with me and Tammy is from the Hayes Area Chamber of Commerce and you are the director of the chamber. And um, this is maybe the second year, I think, I'm not sure, but Hayes has been putting, the, the Chamber of Commerce has been putting together these really amazing trip opportunities. And yes, what is the trip that you guys are putting together this year? Tell us all about it. Okay. Well, we are actually going to travel to Innsbruck, Austria, and this trip also features Oktoberfest. So September, uh, let me make sure, 18th through the 26th, 2015, this fall, we will be actually hosting a trip that will uh, go overseas, enjoy uh, a lot of the different attractions and opportunities that are that are there and uh, the the chamber works with a company called Central Holidays and this company is the one who does all the planning and the travel certainly the the chamber is not trying to get into the chain or the travel business mm -hmm. but this is an opportunity for us to have a fundraiser and our hope is if we can provide opportunities like this then we can allow other services and benefits to our our chamber members while keeping their membership dues at an affordable level. And that's a, a great way to do it and and it's a neat opportunity for people because um, you get to go with a group of people. Yes. So This type of travel, they, they actually call it land cruise, which 
I, I wasn't very familiar with. And I, of course, I, this is my first time that I'll be able to, to join. And last year we went to Italy. I was not able to, to go. And so my passport will have its first stamp. I'm very excited. <laughs> uh, and so in essence, we spend the night at Austria, in Innsbruck, Austria, and then we will take several different day trips, uh, anywhere from an hour to two hour trek. We've got a motor coach bus and, and all of us will be traveling together. So it's an opportunity for uh, people from the Hayes area. In fact, you don't even have to be from Hayes. You don't even have to be from Kansas. Mm -hmm. So if you have a friend or a family member that you like to travel with, and, and uh, certainly this is an opportunity to do that. We will be flying out of Wichita and returning to Wichita. And then um, there's a whole bunch of other details. And certainly we have a brochure that lists this. We've got an upcoming webinar uh, to, to learn more about that. The, the webinar actually takes place seven o'clock, April 7th. Mm -hmm. But for those of the listeners that are perhaps already after April when they hear this, It'll be on our website, www.discoverhaze.com, and that webinar will be recorded and be able to play back. And so we would love to tell more people about the opportunity, and um, I'm just so excited to be able to see the location where they filmed The Sound of Music. Oh. And uh, I get to take off one bucket list and actually go visit a castle. And I'm butchering this name, but it's the Neuschwanstein Castle. That sounds correct. Huh? Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> the, the castle that Disney, <laughs> that Disney uh, featured his Cinderella Castle after. after. Oh, wow. And so, and then of course, this is it, it's it's. We, we're blending pot here in this area. We have the, Celt the Celtic uh, gathering, and then we will have our, our Volga German can go over and have Oktoberfest, and so, and be able to see it in the, the native land, so. Isn't that amazing? And the pictures are extraordinary. The, the, the interior of, of uh, the palace that I think you're visiting, and uh, the castle, and yeah. it, just, it, it just takes your breath away. And it's really a once in a lifetime opportunity. And what's cool about this is somebody put it all together for you. It, so. You know, and we will have guided tours that if you have any language barriers, that's pretty much nil. And then as far as the um, opportunity to be able to have a headset assigned to you, so then you can kind of do your own leisurely pace. You don't have to necessarily keep up with the crowd, so to speak. And so if you get off into a cafe, you're still able to hear what the guided tour is saying, but you know, within distance realm. But um, And so you can really do your own thing while also being part of this bigger group of knowledge. We will be paired, our chamber will be paired with another chamber across the nation. And so at that point, uh, there's also that opportunity to get to know some other people in, in our neck of the woods, so to speak. And that's, ex that's exciting too. And it's not, uh, I had asked you this earlier, but it's not just for couples. Nope. Um, you, you, people could go along with a friend, singles could go if they wanted mm -hmm. to. Um, yeah. So really, you know, anyone that's probably, I would guess, 21 and older, or if, I don't even know if that matters. Can children come along? Children or? can come along. It, it, the only thing that they say is there's a lot of walking, and so certainly we're in an area that was not, um, their infrastructure was not built around modern day cars. And so a lot of these motor coach bus tours can't get that. They'll take us to a destination, they'll drop us off. So in essence, anybody that can really handle about uh, three to five city blocks walking at a time uh, is what they recommend. And then of course, just that maturity and interest level of a child was gonna make a big difference. Uh, I thought about taking my 11 year old and uh, to see his ancestry, in fact. Uh, but I think me being working mom chamber director at the same time may not be a good fit. But for, for other people, yeah. that certainly is an option. So basically, you know, people just make their decisions. It's open to everybody. Correct. And tell us again where they can go to, to read more about this and learn more about it. They can certainly stop by the chamber office, which is located inside the Welcome Center here at 2700 Vine Street in Hayes. They can go to our website, discoverhayes.com. They can call us. They can email me. Um, certainly love to show them some more information and, and explain more. And it is a limited, I mean, there's a limited amount of people that can go. So if people are interested, they need to, That's true. to contact they you need to get as, in. as soon as they can. But it's a, it really is a, a, 
extraordinarily beautiful place and I think it's really neat that the chamber is organizing this and, and anybody from any, and like you mentioned, any area can go to. So make sure you uh, get in touch with Tammy if you're even interested or watch that webinar or go visit the website so you can learn more about this amazing trip to Austria. And Tammy, thank you so much for sharing with us. Thank you. Thank you much. We'll be right back. I'm Adam Stenzel, Production Supervisor with Arm Custom Metals in Hayes, Kansas. Arm Custom Metals' goal is to serve all your building components' needs. Arm Custom Metals fabricates panels and custom trim to your specifications and links in 48 hours or less. Arm Custom Metals also fabricates standing seam roof and wall panels on site for all your residential and commercial projects. Come see us today at Arm Custom Metals, RM Custom Metals, 2150 East 8th Street in Hayes, Kansas. For great food and good times, meet your friends at Fonzie Grill in Norton. Fonzie Grill features fantastic lunch specials weekdays from 11 till 2. Enjoy favorites like chicken fried steak, soul-warming comfort foods, and homemade pastries. Drop in for dinner Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights from 5 until 9 for a delicious steak or mouth-watering prime rib. Stay and unwind or watch the game in the pub open from 5 until closing. For great food and good times, it's Fonzie Grill, South Highway 283 in Norton. Say goodbye to being just a number and say hello to something different. With money-saving rate plans, nationwide coverage, unlimited talk, text, and data plans starting at just $60 a month, and personalized local customer care and amazing community support, Next Tech Wireless is the wireless company you've been looking for. Isn't it time you upgrade to a provider that vows to improve every aspect of your wireless experience? Next Tech Wireless, say hello to something different. And overnight, things have basically been dry. There may have been a few sprinkles here and there, but certainly nothing, nothing like what we saw yesterday afternoon and last evening. For those unexpected visitors, motels and hotels, you'll find those here. Next Tech Directory, in print, online, and now mobile. Find what you're looking for. Miltech Machine Corporation in Norton takes pride in delivering high-precision, close-tolerance machine parts. Since 1997, Miltech Machine Corporation has been a leading supplier for aerospace, agriculture, laboratory instrument, and medical equipment manufacturers throughout the country. They also offer prototyping and single or low production runs. All processes are closely controlled to provide the parts you need when you need them. Congratulating all the area athletes. Miltech Machine Corporation in Norton. Welcome to Mapes & Miller, one of the region's largest full-service accounting firms. We provide many services, including bookkeeping, auditing, payroll, and of course, tax returns. Our CPAs in Phillipsburg, Norton, Stockton, and Quinter have over 100 years of combined experience helping you with personalized service in individual and corporate accounting. At Mapes & Miller, it's not what you make, it's what you keep. Mapes & Miller, give us a call today. We learned about some cool things that are coming up in our area. We just finished visiting with Tammy Welbrock again, the uh, director of the chamber, and we talked about that really amazing opportunity for you to go on that trip to Austria. Uh, we met with Brendan McCampbell uh, from Western Plains Animal Refuge, and you can learn more by going on their Facebook page or their website. And then uh, also make sure on uh, May 2nd that you head on out to Joaquini and go to the gathering and eat some uh, cool food and see some amazing Celtic games and hear some music and just have a good time. So make sure you tune in next time so you can find out what's happening now in our area. And if you know something that's coming up that you'd like to have featured, make sure you let me know.